I got some art snacks for Christmas. So I thought we could open them up and see what we can do. So unfortunately I lost all of my sound as I was opening up this box and explaining everything inside. So I'm going to re-record it so that way everything matches up and um, I can talk about my supplies as I go through them. Uh, Art Snacks, if you don't know what it is, is a monthly subscription box that you can get um, with art supplies in it. Um, they come in this kind of long rectangular box. They're very small. They don't usually have paper in them, but they do have really cool supplies. And uh, they were doing their um, annual year end sale where they were doing uh, buy one, get one. So I got the January 2017 box, and then I also got the month uh, March 2017 box, um, which I will do another video on and hopefully have all my sound. Um, so when you open it up, normally the box was much cuter and had supplies all wrapped and they have their little art snack sticker which is like a little pretzel um, pencil and a little piece of candy. The candy was really good. Mine was um, all smushed though, but it was good regardless. It was candy. Um, and so first off, the reason, the whole reason I got this box was for these high flow acrylic paints, inks, high flow acrylics by Golden. Um, I got fluorescent chartreuse, which is more of just a highlighter yellow, and then fluorescent blue, which is, um, not so fluorescent, but I still want to test it under black light and see if it glows. Um, and they're designed for... Uh, airbrushes, calligraphy pens, and you can paint with them just like regular inks or acrylics. Um, but they are an acrylic, they're not reactivated by water. Um, and they are very, very smooth, and it's almost like, it's almost like a watercolor is how, like, liquid it is. I'm used to, like, a very chunky, um, acrylic paint out of a tube so these were very different and I was so excited about them because this is my favorite color so I was very excited to receive these two colors in my box uh, and then next we have um, the Zig Art Graphic Twin um, Real Brush and Fine so the real brush tip is an actual like paintbrush it actually has bristles on it um, and the fine point is just this little felt bullet nib type. Um, and the ink inside of this, the menu tells me, is water soluble. So you can use it kind of like a watercolor. You can dip the brush into water and then start painting with it. Or you can have water on the paper and start painting. Or you can draw with it like a watercolor pencil and then add water to it later. Um, and that was really interesting. And then... Next was the Koenor Hardmouth Magnum um, HB pencil. Um, I mean, it was a pencil. Um, you know, I don't really use pencil a lot in my art be just because I'm left-handed. Um, I try to use like the color race because they don't smudge as much. Um, but I will say that this pencil was really, really nice to hold, and I know that's an odd thing to remark about a pencil, but it felt, like, really good in your hand, um, so that was a, a plus. Otherwise, it's, it's a pencil, and it's a good pencil. And then we had the Princeton, uh, Snap Series brushes. I got the, um, flat in a size 10, which was also really exciting because I love um, flat brushes more so than round brushes. Round brushes I can never get um, a good straight line and I like having flat washes of color um, and I can use the different angles of the brush to get different details and things like that. Um, so this was a really nice brush. Um, I don't have a lot of fancy brushes normally. I just have Walmart brushes or things like that and they fall apart on me so I'm starting to build up a little collection of fancier brushes and I was really it was really nice to have this one and the brushes the bristles really are like snappy um so it was a good name 
and a really nice brush. And then lastly what they included in the box was just a brochure about those high flow acrylics and just kind of telling you what they are, um, it's from the company, like how they can be used, and then all the other different colors. Um, there's something like, I don't even know how many there are here, but there's something like 50 or 49 different colors and it has all different kinds of uses in all different languages, the big, big languages that you find. Um, but yeah, this was a really cool box and I was really happy about it. Um, next I'm going to show you uh, some swatching that I did. So let's start with the voiceover. I started with the double-ended uh, brush pen that I got and I was really impressed with just the line variation that I got with this brush. Um, yeah, there were some like if you have went if you stroked very fast it was a little patchy but that was a really cool effect and then just the line variation was insane with this pen it was just so beautiful and then you can reactivate it with water um and it was really really nice then the other end was a very very consistent um fine line i tried all different angles to see if i could get it any thicker or thinner and it was just very consistent which i thought would be really good for line work because i like to have um very smooth line work uh with a consistent size um where i know as some people go for a more inky effect which would suit the brush pen but because this pen has both i think it's perfect for everyone um, but here I am trying all the different angles and th as you can see there's not much difference in thickness so that was a very cool pen and then next was the pencil and it was like I said a pencil um, you know not much to it you can get a little bit darker and go from lighter I ended up doing like a gradient and trying all different um, just trying to vary the line weight and that kind of thing um, here I am doing the gradient and it has a pretty nice gradient it was really easy to um, get a nice smooth one without even blending um, so it has a good range of shades but otherwise it's um, it's a graphite lead pencil and um, like I said it feels really nice to hold but otherwise just a pencil next I tried the high flow inks and the menu said to make sure to take the um, cover off, so that's what I did. I, you know, you have to do that to use them. And they had kind of a twisty top like a glue bottle does. Um, but you can see how just fluorescent that paint is. And I tested it just using what was on the cover. And I was so impressed. I am just in love with that highlighter yellow color. I had a marker from Crayola when I was younger and it was something like laser yellow or something like that and I used to color everything with it just because I was so in love with that color um, but these inks were almost or especially this chartreuse one which is really just yellow was just almost eye searing and the camera really shows that um, but what I was pointing to there is that I didn't even squeeze the bottle and the ink came out so they do just come straight out of the bottle if you tip it over and then I used the brush to swatch it out um, and they were so smooth like it was almost like I wasn't even painting anything it was just like running the brush across the paper it was a really different experience for an acrylic then once again I just did the same thing with the blue acrylic and once again just a really really gorgeous like flow um, so smooth like to go on the paper and to use the brush with it I went on to do a few more little experiments with the blue and then I jumped into thumbnailing my uh, concept for this drawing. So with the colors I had, I thought of a girl in her yellow raincoat in the rain walking her dog and this is the little thumbnail that I came up with. The only non-art snack supplies that I used are my uh, pencil sharpener and then my two erasers, my one little white one and then my pink school eraser.
she wear her hood on while it's literally raining on her? You know? Now that I think about it, <laughs> let's put her hood on. How do hoods work? Like that, I suppose. They can work anyway. This is my world, as Bob Ross would say. This is my world, and in my world, hoods look like that today. We'll do the little the little jacket thing that jackets do. So they'll go into their hood, and then there's this little bit of a collar. Sure, let's let's we'll see. In my world today, they do that. Um, oh, what I was saying about references, you really need to look at a reference when you haven't drawn something in a while, when it's not something you draw usually, uh, when it's something you've never drawn before, um, or just when you're not feeling that confident in it. Um, there's no shame in using references. Uh, famous artists use references all the time. Um, if you look up Norman Rockwell, who's my grandmother's favorite, he literally had photo shoots with models.
right, so my camera shut off on me again. I don't know if it got me talking about what I'm doing here with his legs, but I took the water, um, watercolor, um, zig pen and, uh, am shading his back legs just to differentiate them from the rest of his body. I might go over with pencil again, um, because the blue, uh, has done something a little different than what I expected. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll get that nice and uh, done up once that dries. We'll go over it again with the with the black and maybe, maybe the black will have a nice um, tone to it. Now I think it's time to finally get my fluorescent yellow Okay, so it seems to make the water, act, which makes sense, it seems to make the line art bleed. Um, the bristles are very nice and firm, uh, they're not, um, wimpy, nothing is falling out like sometimes I get with my Walmart brushes, I mean, you get what you pay for, I pay probably like two dollars for a pack of like seven, so, um, you know, I can't really complain there, uh, I don't really use those ones for paintings anyways, I use them for collage stuff where they're just gonna get covered in Mod Podge. out again my camera likes to shut off without telling me um but I did the shadows down here a little deeper put the raindrops on them and I think I think that's it I'm gonna sign it I'm gonna sign it with the blue felt tip down here and then it's the last day of 2018 for me. Alright. 
Happy New Year, guys. This is what we made today. If you would like to see more from me and more of my videos, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. But that's all for now. Bye, guys. See you next time.